Hey guys, this is TNN and today we've got another product from Xbox Go. This time it's their latest version, the Gen 2 um, of their AI Sports Cameraman. Uh, it is the Xbox Go Chameleon. So this is quite a new product. It is uh, was only just released not long ago. And uh, this is their new high-end really good AI Sports tracking camera. Um, well, it's a cameraman actually. Uh, the camera that you will, you'll use is your mobile phone. So whether you've got Android phone or iOS phone, that is the camera that you use. This is the device that will track people, track sports, track games, and stuff like that. So pretty cool. So this is it here, the Xbox Go Chameleon AI Sports Cameraman. Let's go ahead and have a look around the box, see what we've got here. We've got 120 degrees AI lens now, so it comes with a camera built into the system. Um, that camera isn't used for filming, that camera is just used for AI tracking, so it's just an extra ability for it to find and track players a lot easier with uh, more radius, really. You can now do team sports tracking, uh, you don't need no subscriptions, and you can do player tracking as well. This is what it looks like, pretty cool. Got some markings over here, and we've got the lava graphite version. Lovely, let's go ahead and let's check it out. I love these really tight boxes. They always do a satisfying drop. Like that. Boom. Here we have it. So, we have got another one of these remote controls. So, if you saw my uh, Xbox Go video previously, uh, we had these remote controls. So, we've got another one here. Pretty much the same one. They feel great. Awesome. We have got a USB Type C to Type C cable. This will be most likely to charge the device up. Uh, nothing else in here really other than that. Let's take out the Xbox Go. We've got the actual Xbox Go here. As soon as you open the box, that smells amazing. It just smells like new, brand new rubber, brand new plastic. Like, I love that smell. Um, here we've got the grip for your phone. So your phone will go in between here. And you simply grip it in there. They recommend to not use uh, any cases when you're using this device. So don't use any phone cases. Take your case off. And then we've got Xbox Go written on the side here. This actually lights up as well, which is really nice. This is the actually 120 degrees AI lens. So this is the camera that is used to track. The power on, power off button. We've got a LED indicator for the battery. We have got the uh, tripod thread underneath. So you can put it up on a tripod, which is pretty cool. And then inside information over here, so it's got 7,800 milliamp hour battery, and I can definitely say it probably does because it's quite heavy. Uh, input 5 volts, 2 amps, pretty cool. And it's like a gripping material as well, so if you don't want to put it on a tripod, you just want to put it on a table. It's pretty gripped enough for that as well. What have we got inside here? We have got the mm, user manual in various different languages. Pretty cool. This would be useful, definitely. Tech these days are more confusing than they used to be. Not as easy as just set up. And then we got uh, what looks like a quick start guide. How to power it up. Hold the bottom. Blah 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 blah. Manage the power. Fair enough. Fair enough. All good. Let's tidy up and have a look at the device. So here we have the Xbox Go app up and running on my iPhone 15 and we got the Xbox Go. Go ahead and press the button here to power it on. And it calibrates itself. Awesome. Comes up straight away. Click to connect. And it should have just connected. Simple as that, connect it, there you go. So the app is literally the same. Um, if you remember using it last time when we used the gimbal, uh, it's the exact same. So you can record, these are the features you've got. You've got soccer, basketball, um, football, I don't know what that is, power, power, what, is that? what does that mean, power soft? I don't know what that is. But you've got football, lacrosse, if you know what that is, drop it in the comments down below. Um, ice hockey, follow me, tennis, handball, pickleball, boom ball, so many more <laughs> sports as features now. Um, main feature obviously it's going to be used for is more like soccer, basketball, 
those are like the main ones. You set it up on the tripod on the halfway line, put it on your focus track. You can even put it on player numbers now as well, and it tries its best to even recognize faces uh, with this new camera, so it's pretty cool. And yeah, you can use it like that. So I don't, I don't really do much sports. Um, for me, it would mainly be the follow me feature that I would use a lot uh, when I'm doing uh, vlogs or review videos, YouTube videos, or anything like that. Um, I literally set up the tripod, put my phone on here, put it on follow me mode uh, to let it pick you up. You literally just hold your hand up, and it will start recording. It will flash your flashlight on your camera on your phone to tell you that I start recording and then it just starts following you everywhere you can do your YouTube video, you can do introduction, you can do whatever you want and then if you put your hand up again your hand up like this, it will stop recording, it will flash to let you know simple as that, it's actually really easy so if you're like a YouTuber or news reporter and you know you don't have a massive crew review, massive team review or you're just on your own and you notice something and you want to quickly film it but you want to be in the video but you're like how am I going to do that and you don't want it to be like a selfie stick type video, this is it tripod put it up put your camera on it put your phone on i mean and then it'll start following you simple as that so really cool uh we're gonna go ahead and try it out and then um i'll put the footage on here of what it films of me and how it follows me how well it does and then yeah we'll go on from there really but build quality wise this is solid like this honestly feels like a brick it feels like it would hurt if it dropped on you though it, it weighs a lot. Um, this looks awesome. Uh, battery consumption wise, I assume this would probably use a lot more battery um, than the gimbal. But it does a lot more. And it should be a lot more accurate at tracking as well. So, we're going to go ahead and test it out. And we'll go on from there really. Right, so I've started the filming by holding my hand up and the phone flashed three times, uh, which means filming has started and you should now be following me. And you are, but hopefully that should be pretty cool. So you need to remember to keep your tripod level and everything flat before you put the chameleon on top of it. And when you set it up, you can use it all and it's actually doing a pretty good job of tracking me. And I have to say, it's a lot, lot better at tracking than the gimbal was, which was the generation one of Xbox Go. AI tracking and this is generation 2 and it is a lot lot better um, we are going to test it a bit we are going to run around move up move down left right probably will lose us um, but I doubt it will lose us as much as the gimbal was losing us um, after this clip as well uh, I will throw in a clip that Xbox Go provided of it being used in a sports um, sports feature really in, in its sports use um, I wasn't able to film it in its sports use, so luckily Xbox Go will provide some clips for that and we'll put it in after this one here. But let's go ahead and let's check out the follow me feature. So it's doing pretty well right now, it is still following me. Uh, if I look straight up, it should still be following me. Now, I don't know if you can hear me, I don't know if it zooms in this much, but hopefully it should at least still be following me. I think it has lost me, I'm not too sure, we'll have to see the clip, but it is turning a little bit. And even if I go down low, it should hopefully go down low, which it does. <laughs> and if I go up high, and if I go close to the camera, it should start to pan up a little closer as well. And if I go back out, has it still found me? It may have lost me. And it's found me again. As long as I get back into the picture, it does find you again. And that's it, it's tracking me again. So it's a lot, lot better than the AI gimbal was, the generation one of the Xbox Go. This is a lot more smoother, works a lot better. You hardly have to keep an eye on it to make sure it's tracking. If I move a bit fast, it still manages to pick it up. Look at that. Whereas the Generation 1, if you were running or moving quite fast, it was losing you. Whereas this one is definitely not losing you. It's finally, it's definitely finding you. So, it's pretty cool. 
and it's pretty good and it's really easy to set up and use. So now I'm just going to show a clip of it being used in a sports scenario. We're back. So we've gone ahead and we've tested it out, we've tried it out, and it does a pretty good job. It's actually not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. It's a lot better than the gimbal. It's a lot easier to set up, a lot easier to use, uh, a lot more compact. Um, it definitely does track a lot better. It does occasionally lose you uh, if you're moving very quick or if you go out of the view of the camera quite quick it then does quite lose you but as you as you come back it finds you again and it does start following you again really good and I, and I can imagine with the sports features it does amazing it like it doesn't fault hardly ever I think it does a fantastic job when it comes to sports features but this is it this is the export go uh, chameleon really really cool device if you're into your photography if you're into your um, filming sports or if you've got kids and you like you want to capture all the moments of the games and stuff you know this is this is it this is a device for you um, price wise it is quite high I have to admit it is quite a pricey product but you can't really put a price on something like this it is AI technology at one of its advanced stage right now you know there's not a lot of companies out here who are doing products like this so for the price wise yeah it's a bit dear uh, in my opinion but for what you get you definitely get a whole lot of tech you know for the money you pay you are getting a whole load of tech in here like this little thing here has got a lot of brains inside so it's pretty cool and when you look at the money wise and you look at the benefits you get from it all the filming you can do of your of your family, you know, events, you know, you can also do live streaming with it as well, hell yeah, you probably make your money back straight away if you're doing like photography and videography with this, so definitely, definitely, it's a very cool device, um, tech wise, overall general wise, I'm going to give it a score of 8 out of 10, which is pretty solid, I think it's very well, it's very good, the build quality is very good, the way it works is very good, Will it get better? Yes. Only time will tell. It, technology will probably get better in this. And Xbox Go will produce even better, better products every time. Um, but yeah, this is it. If you're interested in purchasing it, link to buy will be down in the description. If I have any coupon codes as well, I will also link that down in the description. Definitely check out Xbox Go though. They're really, really cool. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.